Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Harper Realtors. Today I'm at the one acre plus community of Ramble Ridge in Garden Ridge, Texas. Now this community is not super close to anything, but it's also not that far from anything either. It's located on uh, 3009. If you go south, it gives you easy access to Shirts, Texas, where you're gonna have the closest grocery store, which is about a 14 minute drive. And if you go north on 3009, that gives you access to both Baverde, Texas, and New Braunfels, Texas. So it's a really nice location in the Texas Hill Country. Today we're gonna to be doing a four different lot tours of lots that are available in this community because I have a buyer that might be interested in buying this community and he's doing a little lot shopping. Let's go check out these lots. All right, the first lot we're gonna be looking at is 26910 Rocky Rim. This lot is up the front part of the community, not just around the corner from where I filmed my intro. This lot is 1.38 acres. Uh, you can see it does have a decent slope from the front to the rear. So if you did go with this lot, there is gonna be some foundation cost um, and some nice steps on the back of the property. You can see the house off in the distance. They got their driveway going back there and then it dropped off pretty good. Uh, good thing is there's not gonna be anybody behind you. The bad thing is you will hear some road noise back there uh, because that's a pretty busy road of 3009 back there in the back. Uh, walking to this corner, I see one or two oaks on this property but uh let's see if this oak tree here in the corner this oak tree i'm at the boundary line here it's just on the other side of where the boundary line is but that oak tree won't be going anywhere even if someone bought this lot over here that oak will stay there just because it's not in any builder's way but uh they're asking 179 K for this lot. It's been on the market for 78 days as I'm filming it. It is 17 June 2023. But uh, yep, it, the sun would be setting off this direction. So that will create some shade on your back porch. I don't even walk around, there are some beautiful homes in this neighborhood already and uh so it's always good to have nice neighbors you are on a cul-de-sac so that's kind of nice too but yeah those are the pluses price is really nice the downside is the topography going down and you're gonna find topography pretty much in every lot in this community because uh ramble ridge has a lot of topography in it um but that road noise, that road noise is not going away. So you gotta be aware of that if you're looking at buying this lot. All right, let's head on to the next lot. All right, this next lot is 8222 Storm Circle. And it's a little more in the central part of the community, but kind of off to the north. Also on the cul-de-sac, some beautiful homes already built here. Uh, you can barely hear the road noise now compared to the first lot we showed, but uh, you are still gonna have some topography here. And this is, if you saw, remember the, first, the slide you saw before, this is an irregular shaped lot. So you're not gonna have a lot of space on the front of the road but as it goes back it does open up to where if you had a little longer driveway you can open up into this lot it does have a pretty good slope from the front to the rear so this house will have some if you build on this house there will be some steps on the front of the property but none in the back Just want to walk back here a little bit. Quite a few rocks here. I'm wearing shorts today because it's so damn hot. We do have a little heat wave that came through and now I'm kind of regretting it with uh, walking through here. 
I usually wear pants. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna walk all the way up through here because this lot definitely needs some clearing. But you can get the idea of this lot. It's got some oak trees back there, but a lot of this is just kind of garbage that needs to be cleared out in order to put a house on it. But if you did, there'd be a pretty nice view out the front. That's for sure. And like I said, less road noise. Let me see if I can, and they really kind of got me blocked in here. So I can't really get to where it opens up in the back. I'm trying to find a way for you. Let me see if I can do some ducking. And nope. Oh, I'm trying for you. Okay, here we go. All right. Here's where it kind of opens up a little bit. So, to the, do the shape of this lot, this would probably be closer to the build site, which I was hoping was going to flatten out a little bit more. It does flatten out a little bit, but you would have a pretty steep walk up with a driveway. Eh, actually, it's not so bad once you get all the way up to the top here. Okay, so if you went with a really long driveway coming up, you're still not going to be perfectly flat, but it's not going to be too bad. It's going to be a slope still coming up there, but you would have uh, kind of those trees in the background area and a uh, pretty nice view. Just have a little bit of a steep driveway curving up back to this location. No need going all the way back up in there. All right, let's head on to the next lot. All right, before we go to the next lot, we're still in the second one. I forgot to mention this lot is 1.18 acres and the seller is asking 179K for it. And I wanna let you know the sun dust west is off this direction. So kind of depending on where you, what direction you face the house as you go further back in the lot. It depends on if the sun crosses your house or if you get the sun on the back of the house. All right, now we can head on to the third lot tour. All right, well, it turns out I didn't have to drive my truck anywhere because the next lot is across the street from the one I just showed you. We are now at 8219 Storm Circle lot 113 this lot is 1.41 acres and it's nice that the owners have already cleared this lot so it's going to be pretty easy to see um, the bad thing is they are asking 240k for this lot so this is the most expensive lot we're going to see on the tour but it's at the edge of the community so nobody back behind you and wow, this is going to be an epic view out the back. You do have some power lines back there, but they are barely noticeable. But you can get an idea from what the neighbor's lot looks like. So yeah, once you clear out all the cedars, cedars are kind of garbage trees in Texas. They just suck up a lot of water. Don't add a lot of benefit, but you really want to keep the live oaks, and that's what they did on this property. 
and this kind of pies out and gets a little wider in the back but you still have a very faint road noise I wouldn't use that as a hindrance but yeah if you're looking for a lot with some beautiful views of the Texas Hill Country this is a nice one but at 240k they want you to pay for that really nice view um, there is still going to be a slope. Let me see if I can walk back just so I can show you what the neighbor's house looks like. As far as foundation, uh, people don't realize going into this process just how expensive getting that foundation is. So the more topography, the more foundation cost, the more your build cost is. Sorry if I'm going a little slow. All right, looks like theirs wasn't too much. Depends on the build site. Their driveway just got, they dug in to try to keep the foundation cost a little low. So you can see the driveway slopes down quite a bit and then to a pretty level spot right there. And the same thing can be done with this lot. If you kind of have a long driveway coming in, sloping down, this isn't too bad. You're not gonna have an exorbitant amount of foundation cost, but there will be some because it does slope to the rear. And you can see the, I don't know if the GoPro will show it, but you do see the fence line back there denoting the edge of Ramble Ridge. This community doesn't have a lot for amenities. It's just a real quiet place. And it's not the big monster community like, say, Vintage Oaks is. But it is a beautiful one. And like I mentioned before, not too far from Shirts, which is where I live. So the closest grocery store is there. And if you're retired military, the Shirts Medical Clinic is also about a 15-minute drive from here. So not too bad at all. You see kind of their foundation off the back side. Looks like they built it up and put a pool in. Which is kind of neat. It's always good to have neighbors with a pool. Quite sure that's a pool there. Not 100%, but it does look like water. Yeah, it is. But a beautiful lot here for 829 Storm Circle. And like I said, we're across the street from the other one. So the, so so the sun sets kind of on the front right corner of the house so it would create some shade for in the afternoons which like I said this time of year it's gonna have shade on your backyard all right let's head on to our uh, fourth and final lot that's gonna be more towards the back part of the community All right, the last lot on our list is going to be 27710 Sunny Point. Uh, it is also the biggest lot at 1.45 acres. The sun west is kind of off this direction, so the sun would be mostly going across your house. But uh, And the asking price is actually the least of the four I'm showing. It, they're asking 174.9. So... Uh, you saw on the previous slide kind of the pictures of the lot. It's a little narrower in the front than the back, but not too dramatic. So yeah, let's go for a hike and walk back through here and see what we can see. Oh, I want to show off the neighbors a little bit. This is on the cul-de-sac back part of the community. Looks like they're doing a little pressure washing over there. So that's what that sound is. I can find my way back here. Yep, good. The two houses on either side have already been built, so that's kind of a neat thing. Uh, interesting fact, when this community was first getting carved out, that's where I took my motorcycle to try to learn to ride at because it's really neat little roads coming through here. And there was almost no houses built. 
and now this place is almost built up completely. But yep, there's one of the neighbors. You can get to kind of see what the back part is. There is a slope going from the front to the back, but it's not overly dramatic, especially like some of the lots we've seen before. The first lot had a lot of slope. This does have a slope going to the front to the back, but it's not too bad. But you will have your steps in the back of the house. Some nice uh, oak trees there, and then you got the cedar. And it's kind of relatively flat space back here if you wanted to build back in this spot. But also notice no car noise because we're way away from uh, 3009 now. And that's looking pretty impassable for me. So let me see if I can find another alternate route. Always look for little game trails. Cause there are, you are gonna see deer out here. Yep, there are some deer droppings on the path right now. All right, and it looks like towards the back part of the property is when it starts to do that sloping down. <clears throat> so we have a little more slope and then it looks like we're gonna really drop off into a ravine it looks like down here. All right, you can see, I don't know if you can see a little potted plant there. It's when it starts to slope back down here a little bit, but not too bad. And then from this point on, it slopes down pretty decently. If I can get back here and hold my GoPro level so you can kind of see it kind of shelves down and then goes back down into the ravine. No point going all the way down there, but there are some nice oaks this lot would look a lot different if you cleared out the cedar. But yeah, definitely more flat toward the front half of the property. But it's also why it's a 2.45 acre lot because your lot's gonna go probably way, <laughs> way down there. Um, if my client is interested or if anybody else is interested in buying here, I don't know the exact interest rates for this community yet. Uh, that all depends on if it's incorporated or not, and I don't have that information on me right now, but it's easy information to get. So if someone's serious about wanting to buy one of these lots, I can find that information out for you. And uh, yeah, I can also do a motorcycle tour of these lots if necessary, well, of this community. There's not much to it, but it's a really neat community. A lot of curvy roads, a lot of nice scenery. But I think this is a community that kind of is a, just a quiet community. Got some small dogs there chirping. And now we're gonna go going up a hill a little bit for the front part of this lot. So yeah, you would have a driveway kind of going downhill to kind of where this probably preferred build site would be, which kind of mirrors what the house is right next to you. And this lot has been on the market for 158 days as I'm filming it. But yeah, you clear out some of the cedars and you can have a really nice view out there. Oh, there's a little chihuahua. All right. Hopefully this helped my client make a little decisions. 
five. That's going to do it for the four lots that are available in Ramble Ridge as of mid-June 2023. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. And if you're considering moving to this area and looking for a realtor that does these videos, please, please reach out to me. Schedule a Zoom call or text me and I'll schedule a phone call with you. But it doesn't cost you nothing to use a realtor to buy any of these lots or any production homes that are out there. So don't go this process alone. This is what I do. I try to be your boots on the ground person to help you make this big decision. All right, that's gonna do it for today. If you like this video, of course, hit that like button. I definitely want to subscribe to my channel. It's hot out here. I'm working hard. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.